the first local station with news in high definition. This is 9 News Now. Welcome back to 9 News Now. It's 928. This is a live look at the Washington Monument. Golfers around our region will be swinging away on May 7th, but not just for fun. They'll be swinging for a cure for cancer. With us now to explain is Dr. Wayne Frederick. He's interim director of Howard University's Cancer Center. Dr. Frederick, welcome back to Nine News right. Now. Thank this you. is your first golf for the cure. Why did you decide to do golf? That's correct. Well, we thought that it would be a good way to get people together. Plus, um, the way the tournament is set up, we'll be able to do some screening, hand out literature. We think it's a nice family activity as well where everyone can be involved. All right, let's get the particulars out of the way. We said it's May 7th. Where is the golf tournament going to be held? It's at Lake Presidential Golf Course, which is in Upper Marlboro. Um, that golf course is very nice, very family friendly. It's, it'll kick off at 7 o'clock mm -hmm. um, registration on May 7th. Golfers are welcome, all skill levels, all ages, sizes. My four-year-old is going to be playing with oh, me. Very good. So we definitely are looking forward to that. The registration fee is 175 per golfer for foursome 680 And we still have some whole sponsorships that are available as well. And if you contact us at our website, if you go to howard.edu and search for the Cancer Center, you'll see the golf tournament on there and you can sign up to be a sponsor as well. All right, and we'll put a link to that website on our website after the show at WUSA9.com. Dr. Frederick, have you set a goal, a monetary goal you'd like to raise in this first outing? Yeah, well, well the, the purpose of the tournament is twofold. One, obviously, is to raise money. We're hoping to raise between 10000 and 20000 mm -hmm. which is a nominal fee, but mm -hmm. we... It's a modest fee. We, yeah, we hope to, to raise that amount, but more importantly, we hope to raise awareness. Mm -hmm. Awareness about screening and prevention. We'll have our prostate screening van out there, we also want people to know that Howard University Cancer Center is doing a lot of good for the Washington metropolitan area, and we want to put that out there as well. So we'll have a lot of literature out there as well. We'll have some other organizations that we think are partnering with us and doing a lot of great things in the city as far as looking for a cure for cancer as well. You talked about prostate cancer, and we had an ad on our air just a few minutes ago mm -hmm. talking about how if caught early, 98% curable, but men are the worst. And now they're getting conflicting messages about prostate cancer, that the PSA test, the blood test that we thought was a great screener and predictor mm -hmm. may not be as effective and prostate screening overall may not make a difference. Yeah, Is that one of the reasons why men are not taking advantage of this? Yeah, that's absolutely correct. You know, it's interesting because uh, as a cancer surgeon, I never see my male patients without their spouses because they always give a very different story. With respect to prostate screening specifically, there's a lot out now in the literature about the invalidity of Mm -hmm. Prostate screening, whether or not the PSA test is a worthwhile screening, and even if you do detect it, is it worthwhile detecting it early? We at Howard are not sure that that's the right message to be given. We think that African Americans and minorities and underserved populations who do not have access to screening in the past were probably underrepresented in some of those studies, and therefore we ourselves think that we need to conduct more studies and put some more literature out there that we think will challenge that current information. One final thing, the MAMO Day program will also benefit from this, and this is offering free mammography screening to women in our area. That's correct. Last Friday, we had our um, most recent MAMO Day. Uh, as usual, the turnout is high. Uh, we have a long waiting list. We're actually going to try stepping it up and doing it twice a month. We started off doing it once a year, then went to twice a year. Now we're at monthly, and now we're trying to go to twice a month, that, such as the need. Um, women who are underinsured or uninsured are welcome. We do a free mammogram as well as a clinical breast exam, which is one unique thing about our program as well. Plus, we have funds that we put aside to do biopsies if there's a suspicious lesion that's found as so well. So you don't just leave them hanging with that's the knowledge that they may have something suspicious. You're able to do something about it. That's absolutely it. correct. And we also keep a database um, of them as well. So for future reference, if the patients need anything or information from us, it's easy to access, et cetera. The luncheon speaker is Dr. LaSalle LaFalle, noted uh, cancer surgeon. And again, if you can afford to join it for a great day of fun for the entire family, that's May 7th. And we will put a link on the uh, website at WUSA9.com to the Howard Cancer Center's website. Dr. Frederick, thank you for being with us and for hope you have us. a great day for golfing. Thank you.